You are giving a speech on the Senate floor for 25 hours straight with no bathroom breaks and you haven't eaten in days. Well, that's exactly what Senator Cory Booker did. And while it was all part of a strategy that led him to break a Senate record, he may have accidentally tapped into a buzzy wellness trend people swear can help you live longer. CNN anchor and chief congressional correspondent Manu Raju shared some insight into Booker's marathon speech with a post on X Tuesday night. He wrote, Cory Booker tells a group of us he didn't have to go to the restroom for over 25 hours because he hasn't eaten since Friday and stopped drinking water Sunday. He said he intentionally dehydrated himself. Raju added that Booker started cramping up from lack of water, but what he may not realize, he may have stumbled into a wellness trend called autophagy. When you go without food for an extended period of time, your body shifts into survival mode. Instead of focusing on digesting food, it starts clearing itself out, breaking down and recycling old or damaged cells. Sort of like taking out the trash, but on a cellular level. That process is called autophagy, and it's believed to help with things like reducing inflammation, slowing aging, boosting brain health, and possibly lowering the risk of diseases. Cleveland Clinic says autophagy begins around 24 to 48 hours of fasting, with some saying the peak is around three to four days, which is where Booker likely ended up by the end of his speech. Autophagy has been all over the wellness world lately. At a conference in February called the Don't Die Summit, tech millionaire and biohacker Brian Johnson shared his own longevity routine, including a 4.30 a.m. wake-up time and an 18-hour daily fast. But experts warn fasting isn't for everyone. It can be dangerous for people who are pregnant, have diabetes, or a history of disordered eating. And while autophagy may help prevent cancer in people who already have it, it could actually help cancer cells survive. So while Senator Booker probably wasn't trying to go viral on health TikTok, he might have just given the wellness guru something new to debate. With Straight Arrow News, I'm Kennedy Felton. Download our app or visit san.com for more.